Hi everyone, this is Donna and today I want to share with you my Magnolia Doohickey Club Magazine volume number 9 and I got it from Auto Tech Supplies. This one came with a little stamp and there is no name on this one. I'm, I'm not sure which one this is, but it's one of the mini stamps. I don't have her, I don't have any of the mini, so this is really nice. Let's go through the book together. And apparently this has to do with castles. They have this pretty card here. Uh, by Debbie and it's called Project Using the New Doohickeys. And they're going to show something for napkins. The Fairy Sherwood Ed Edwin. Uh, the one that I just showed you isn't that. Once Upon a Time, Frame or Box, a Place Card, The Fairy Pocahontas, I don't think that's in here either, but they're going to show something about it. A Princess Chamois and a Card for a Princess. And a napkin holder and here they show you how to go about making it which is really nice when they give you all the details uh, add more leaves I use the magnolia swirl leaf with the flower leaf and the foliage to make this the decoration of the fairy oh how cute I want but this is so cute and it's made entirely out of paper <coughs> And this little fairy has a wand in her hands and they made little flowers. And it's a sweet, wonderful you. And over here more flowers and some swirls. The decorations of the fairy. And it says there's a flying Tilda and she's in the collection of 2010 so that's not her. And sweet, wonderful text, lazy summer days. Uh, the paper magnolia dyes is the leaf and swirl. The mini doily, the secure water lily, the swirl leaf with flower leaf, the tilde doily, the lace coaster. So there was a lot to go into this. And uh, here you can see everything they used to make it. And uh, here is another card. And on this card it looks like it's some kind of a technique where... Uh, things were painted over in white to just leave a little flare of color, but not too much. And it looks really beautiful. I don't know how to do it, ladies, but it says project using the new doohickeys. Let's look at the other side of the page. And here, color tilde with chosen medium. Here, I watercolored with distress rankers. Oh, okay, so now they're explaining how to do it. The paper is cardstock, Brazil embellishments, a Bernie cinnamon sticks, and pine cones. And over here, choose matching paper and using magnolia doohickey shapes from the vintage box volume one cut out with chosen papers. So that's how they got that shape. And using the leafly die, cut out twice using green paper. And I'm sure there's other dies besides the doohickey dies that you can use in place of, but at least it gives you an idea of another type of card to make. And then they cut out little flowers. Uh, they did use the tilt the little flowers, but if you have a punch of some type of flower, you can probably do something with it also. Anyway, the finished look, there's a little envelope up here and another one here, and a lot of little flowers and so forth. So they said they watercolored with this dress rankers, and that's how they got that look. Oh, this is so cute. It's a tea box. And the paper is the Magnolia. And the dies are the Doohickey Volume 6 Vintage Box 1 of the Magnolia Tree. I haven't used my Magnolia Tree yet, so there's a good reason to use it. And the Doohickey Volume 6 Magnolia. Okay, so that looks really nice. And down here... I still haven't used that die. Look at how pretty it looks there. Really pretty, huh? And I love the way they accent the T's. 
and over here is fairy wands and they tell you how to prepare the fairy wands tag from the the star tag from vintage box one but how nice if you notice in auto tech she sells this um this little die where you can cut it out and i think it says that uh, uh, men at work or something like that to it and look at how pretty they made them actually with the little stick and with the little star they made them place cards how pretty is that and down here they show you how to do it and here it says the fairy mariposa watercolor splash and again it's the watercoloring look which is so in right now and they give you an idea of what to do and how to do it step by step which is really awesome about this book. And over here, it's a birthday invitation for Little Princess. And they made it into a castle. And here's step by step how to make it into a castle. Really nice. And here it continues. I like this. It looks like little bunnies down here with uh, Tilda Wood wings. Really adorable. And here it says, have a sunny day. And it's the fairy Pan Pocahontas. And again, they did with the watercolors. Really cute. Step by step here. This dress ink was used here. Dyes and spraying and heating a little bit to dry it up. And that's how you got the finished look there. Really nice. And over here, it's the fairy Shearwood Edwin. So if you were wondering what he looked like, here he is. Really nice. Really cute. And here's the step by step on how to prepare that card. So if you like the details and so forth, you might like this book. This is a frame or a box. And and this was from this is the fairy tale butterfly and a large butterfly paper. Sunrise butterfly die from the vintage square. So that came from that came from a couple of different collections and here down here they show how it was cut out really nice and so they layered and layered and most of the time to get something so pretty and look at that butterfly how they colored it in isn't that awesome I know it's very bright but it, the bright colors are pretty too and this is the gift box and there she is look at how cute she looks there and they show you how to set up the gift box how to make the gift box really nice princess chemis and here is one of the images and they color it in on a bottom and then they attach it to your clothing and here's a fairy bag look at how cute is that they kept going with the instructions on how to iron on the, the fairy onto the t-shirt a card for a princess and this is a project using the new doohickeys which came attached in this collection I still haven't um, played with them look at how pretty the finished card is and and they really do give you a lot of dyes I, I got the early bird this is the one with the little flowers that we saw in one of the cards in the vines and this is the sign that they use to write love on stars and clouds and this is a pathway and then i have all of these the castle and the castle on the castle sorry and the castle top and over here the twigs that they were using and this is a whole array of stars that's going to be cute and the moon and a mushroom and a tree and here's a uh an arbor and a, a tree and over here the ones that look like little bunnies but they're really not and over here a beautiful cutout and this is that envelope that we saw a couple of uh, cards back it was an envelope I told you a little mini envelope that's this one so this one came loaded oh and then the little scenery in the on the bottom with the little grass this one came really loaded with goodies and that's the end and it says enjoy back here Thanks for watching and let me know what you think. And this one I got in autotechsupplies.com from Tracy Salvi. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.